I don't have a good feeling about this. Because of Judge Riley, you mean? Yeah. I mean, he would sell his own mother down the river if he thought there was something in it for him. I just... I don't think things are going to turn out well for the reason to go. Cal. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This, this is my fault. Listen, okay, don't be crazy. Irenga, you have done so much for me and Luis to try and keep this from happening. Okay, without your money and all the, all the power you now have, we would have been sentenced to jail weeks ago. You know what? The two of you wouldn't even be here if I had just obeyed the blackmail. Listen, stop it. All right? I just only wish you hadn't obeyed the black as much as you did. You sacrificed being with Ethan for us. And Luis hates that as much as I do. And, and after everything that we've given up, we're at the mercy of, of a judge who doesn't give a damn about anything but his own well-being? Hey, ja, basta. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. It has to be. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. It'll be okay. I'm going to let your wife get away with this? For now, father... None of this will matter once I get up on the stand and testify to the jury that Miguel was the one who tried to kill me. This is bad, isn't it, Ethan? I'm not going to lie to you, Fancy. we got an uphill battle out of us. I think if Riley had his way, he would probably skip both trials and sentence Luis and Miguel to the maximum sentence. But it is up to him. Not entirely. We still have the jury. I mean, if we can convince the jury that they're innocent, we're in the clear. Then there is a lot writing on my testimony, isn't there? You're going to be fine. Just remember, Grace Nancy is a shark, okay? She's going to twist your words. She's going to make you seem like you're completely unreliable. That's her M.O., right? Yeah, well, even if she's hard on fancy, you're still going to get a chance to cross-examine her. Exactly. And then I'll undo any damage that she's done, okay? The jury's coming back in. All right, court is back in session. The prosecution would like to call Miss Fancy Crane. Don't blow this, Fancy. Louise's life is at stake. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. So my fate's basically in Fancy's hands. It's okay. And your supposed victim believes that you could never be guilty, all right? You know, what if she isn't able to convince the jury of that? Then we got a problem, Elise. Yeah. It's called a death penalty? So you're a policewoman, Miss Crane. That's right. As well as a victim of Louise Lopez Fitzgerald's attack. Yes. Excuse me? A victim of the suspect's alleged attacks. Overruled. She can't say that, Judge. Overruled, Mr. Winter. When Mr. Lopez Fitzgerald... Forgive me, I will rephrase that. When you were first attacked. You were participating in an undercover operation, is that right? Yes. Which proves it wasn't Luis. Luis was at the police station when I was accosted. He only showed up at the scene later. In fact, he was the one who chased my attacker off, or who knows what he would have done next. And don't just take my word for it. There were witnesses who can vouch for where Luis was when my attack started. There was proof he had nothing to do with it. <laughs> 